Hello, it is Nimzeng once again. The last tutorial for building a database, we had achieved this. And I would show you what we've done. This is the look and feel of what we've built at the, at the moment. If you enter some information here, select them and put some address and you exit, it will go. But intention is if you can clear this, it should clear and leave a field that is empty. However, it will not empty, it will rather crash. So that is not what you want. We will do an adjustment here. And just at the point to tell us a little bit that if event in, then you put in bracket, open and close, break, then you can do that. And let's imagine you do that. So it wouldn't act, but it wouldn't crash as well. Let's imagine enter some information that you do that. It's not going anywhere because this has not been activated as yet, but this is exit. So if you do exit here, it will close. It's not crashing. Now we will go to clear and activate it so that it should do something. At least clear the field once the clear button is clicked. So we'll copy that. And you put a quote here. If event equals equals clear full colon, then you want it to clear to do something. Okay. I will show you that that can work by inserting this print command. Okay, now you're going to see it appear down here. Okay, so let me just um, open that again, start. And just to show you how this will work, we say clear, and you can see this will clear existing, existing input. So meaning that we can actually pass information, but we don't want that. We want whatever you do here to clear. And so this line of code that you need to put in, close this and continue our coding. We can remove this. And the simple way of putting this is what is called the for loop. So you said for key. So all these keys, that is those entries in values. Then you put a colon. You catch each of these keys. And remember, they are all inside the window. So you say window, lowercase, square brackets, and then capture this one, name, for example. and put it inside the window. Okay. Sorry, make sure that it's in quotation marks. And a function called update and they put in bracket. So you leave that empty. What you're saying is that for whatever is existing within the name input, you should update with a blank space 
meaning that it should clear it. Let's activate that alone and see. And once you finish that, you put return none. Okay. That is how it would, it should look like. Okay. Now, there is a slight bit of error here. And what we will rather do is to take this information and do it outside of this area. In other words, you can say clear input here, input copy it, control C, and just under this, you define that, and then you put a full colon, and catch this information, just cut it from here, and put it just in that area. Okay, you have to move this really. Formatting is very important in ensuring that you don't lose anything. So this clear will access this function and you will clear whatever is in the name input. Let's try it. Okay. So let's imagine Aaron is the name there and you say clear. You see, Aaron is cleared. But because we've not put it to clear this part, you're going to see another, another entry. It wouldn't do anything for it. We'll stop that. So we can then put all the other inputs here we will just um, include all of them, capture each of these keys, DOB, uh, next is gender, next is address, remember to spell it and in the way it appears completely. Otherwise, it will fail to act, okay? So again, now that we've done that, let's start again. Well, let's enter a, a name, any name that, uh, okay? And then you'll put, select any date of birth there. Let's accept this person to be female for road or somewhere and the contact number one, two, three, four. And you clear, see that? Completely cleared. It gives room for the next entry, okay? So what we have done to our app is updated what was there with all the entries and then we activated the clear button by creating a function which we took out of there and define it for clarity because we could use this function for example after submitting an entry you want the field to clear for the next entry. And so it's important that we did that function and update, then clears it. You could clear, and if you want a pre uh, field information to get into this field, 
you can insert it but that's not what you want you want it to be clear so that it would be available for the next entry i hope you will like it and come back again for more at this point we will stop and um, prepare for the next function in which we intend to get the submit button to do something and we'll go from there thank you very much uh, and 